burial. Welcome to our open house tonight. Join us as we take you on a tour of our wonderful school. Let's go. Welcome to the band room. Junior high is all about trying new things. And what better way to do that than by learning to play a new instrument? We have a wide variety of different instruments you can choose to learn, including flute, clarinet, oboe, saxophone, trumpet, French horn, trombone, euphonium, tuba, and percussion. You'll get your very own instrument to borrow for the year. You don't need any musical experience to join band class. You will learn everything you need to know about your instrument and how to read music in class. This is a great way to learn a cool new skill that will last you forever. We can't wait to have you be a part of the band. I play this instrument because it's a very unique. Most of, most of the instruments have buttons, but this has slides as shown here, and it's pretty easy to learn. I chose this instrument because, well, it looks nice and I, I like the sound it makes. I picked this instrument because it looks shiny and beautiful. students get to create, uh, bake, and cook a variety of different foods for themselves. Um, students start off the year with a safety unit where they learn foods basic safety. We are into the cooking section where students take turns preparing and cooking meals for themselves. We began the year with a breakfast unit where students got to cook a variety of different breakfast uh, meals for themselves. Then we moved on to a baking unit and students learn how to make homemade bread as well as all different types of things that they can do with bread. So they've made mini pizzas. And today, as you can see, they are making cheesy garlic breadsticks. Uh, the students love foods and fashion, um, of course, because the best part is they get to eat what they've created at the end. I took foods because I really enjoy cooking at home and it was a really fun option to do. My favorite thing that we cooked in foods was mini pizzas. Uh, good morning, grade sixes. It's nice to see you guys. Um, here is the fashion lab. You can see that the kids are sewing their projects. They're working on aprons this year. Um, and uh, a few of them are finishing sewing up their projects. A few of them are finishing up some fashion portfolios. Um, and now I will leave it to them. We do amazing projects through, throughout, throughout the year like our mood board and our sketches for our fashion project. We have an amazing teacher that teaches us through it all, and it's very fun, so you should come and join. Here at ATB, we have an excellent options class. This is where you would learn the stepping stools to become a great fashion model designer. This year, we were making masks. I made two different ones. I made the lemon one and the animal print. There are different animals on this one, lions and tigers. Currently, we are working on aprons, and this is my finished product. What I like about fashion is that we get to learn many different stitches for the different designs you would want to make for yourselves or for your family. Come on in. This is Art 7A. Welcome to our classroom. We are working on origami cranes. So each student has a different piece of origami paper with different colors. And if you take a peek at their sketchbooks, you'll see some of the paper exercises we've done this year. Grade seven is a good art option because you get to do paintings, drawing, and all sorts of fun stuff. Paint, pencils, pastels, paper, perspective, pop art, Palettes and positive space, it's art seven time. Welcome to ATB's Industrial Arts Woodshop. Come on in. 
students start off learning some basic safety and how to safely use a variety of power tools and then have the opportunity to work on a number of projects in their time during this option. And different power tools in order to make different projects throughout their option term in construction. I took the shop option because I thought that it would be really cool to make lots of different experiments with the, all the wood that we have here at ATV. So it was lots of fun to work with different machines and woods and tools. Come on in. Welcome to our grade seven EAP English class. EAP stands for Enhanced Academic Programming. It doesn't stand for more homework. We read more advanced books, followed by more in-depth, challenging assignments. This helps you become a stronger reader and writer, both inside and outside of school. If you find yourself flying through assignments in English class and reading tons of books, this is the program for you. I'm a seventh grade EAP student here at HEB. I chose the EAP program because I really like to be challenged while I'm working and I wanted to be around people who have the same work ethic as me. If you feel the same way, you should join EAP. If you're really into social studies, LA, math, or science, H.E. Barrow is the perfect place for you. There's a wonderful set of features here that will go beyond and help you extend your knowledge in all of the subjects. I'm Jessica, HEB's Braided Journeys Transition Coach. The Braided Journeys Room is a welcoming and positive place where Indigenous students see themselves, their contributions, and their culture represented, respected, and celebrated. Our program offers encouragement and guidance throughout junior high and into high school. Braided Journeys offers all students access to additional academic, cultural, and leadership opportunities. I look forward to meeting you in September. Welcome to HE Burial. Hi, my name is Sweet. I am a student here at HEB, and I've been a part of the Braided Journeys program for almost three years. I enjoy coming to the Braided Journeys room because it's a great place to eat lunch, meet new friends, ask questions, and get tutoring after school. Pro tip, if you forget your locker combination on your first day, come here and they can help. From H.E. Barrio Catholic Junior High in West Edmonton, this is H.E.B. Morning News. Good morning, H.E. Barrio. Today is February 10th, Day 2. Please stand for morning prayer. And now for announcements. Father Mike Day is for all the grade 8 students. Everyone, wear your superhero shirts. On Friday, the grade 9s are going to be with Oscar Romero. Romero. Valentine's Day is this Sunday, so Friday is Wear Red Day. Starting on Tuesday, we are having a Guess the Baby contest. Staff have provided us with their baby pictures, and we are going to be guessing who is who. Um, at our school, the students run the morning broadcast, and the reason that I like being on the broadcast team is that it gives me a chance to interact with my other students and sort of be a part of the school community, which I think is really cool. At H.E. Barrio, our Catholic education is very important to us. Last year, we had the opportunity to go on different retreats. Each grade had their own retreat. The grade sevens headed out to Rundle Park and spent the day with Father Dean doing a variety of faith-filled activities. The grade eights had Father Catfish Day down at the Shaw Conference Center where they were able to spend time with all the grade eights across the city. The grade nines had the privilege of going out to the Ukrainian Catholic Church and spending the day with Father Julian and then going as well over to the Sacred Heart Parish and learning about the Aboriginal customs in the Catholic Church. During the pandemic, it has been very important to continue our school tradition of having students lead our school celebrations. We have made good use of our broadcast facilities and recorded our students doing the various liturgical celebrations. As well, our school is busy with lots of social justice projects throughout the school year. 
I was a part of the Social Justice Committee because we, we like to help people. This year we are helping the Bissell Center with items like these. New and unused and slightly used items are great because they help the homeless shelter when it's really cold outside. Keep it going, Miguel. Come on in. Come on in. I think that the fitness room is such an awesome place to be at HEB because you get to work out with your friends, have some fun, but at the same time you get to be active, stay healthy, and exercise. You can stay in shape at the school. Go muscles. You want to do? You want to do? I think the fitness room is an awesome place to be at because you can choose what equipment and exercise you want to do. Our school has it so that when it's gym time, the boys and the girls get split up into two different classes. You can go into the fitness room to practice for school teams or just stay healthy and active. This room is a multi-purpose room that has met the needs of the staff and students for years. For your cardiovascular needs, it has 10 spin bikes, two ellipticals, and a skating simulation machine. Not to mention, there are agility ladders and hurdles and jump rope to change it up. As well, it has two squat racks, several kettlebells, a plethora of free weights, a universal machine. For your flexibility component, we have a class set of yoga mats. Athletics at H.E. Barrio have been a major reason why grade 6 students choose to come to our grade school. Our junior high has many teams for student athletes to play on and compete against other schools in Edmonton Catholic and other school districts in Edmonton. We have excellent coaches that put learning, skills, and teamwork above everything else that students get from school sports. All of our teams set goals, work hard, respect their opponents, and do their best to continue the long tradition of success at H.E. Burial, home of the Bears. We offer many sports to participate in at our school, cross-country running, soccer, volleyball, basketball, curling, badminton, slow pitch, and track and field, also known as athletics. We have senior and junior teams for volleyball and basketball, as well as a badminton development team. Boys and girls play on separate teams in junior high, but some teams are co-ed, like badminton, curling, and slow pitch. Our teams practice usually after school and sometimes before school, and we all share our gyms so junior players develop as much as the senior players. We are proud of our many city championship banners that fill our main gym. We always do very well in tournaments that we play in on weekends for some sports, like volleyball, basketball, and slow pitch. Junior high athletics are a very special part of our school culture at HEB, and many of our athletes return to help coach after they graduate to high school, university, or college. Once a bear, always a bear. So do you want to defend the den? Come join our awesome team. Hope you enjoyed your visit. Have a great day and make your choice HE Burial. Thanks for coming. <laughs>